to so flying to Vietnam. My first experience in Hanoi was definitely an adventure. The traffic in it isn't forgiving, where there is more motorcycles than cars. So I took one. Why not? Riding behind someone was definitely the scariest, but yet the best way to experience it. It wasn't until our tuk-tuk driver drove the wrong way that I felt the lawlessness traffic in Vietnam. After the chaotic traffic in Hanoi, I finally reached the countryside of Phong Nha. It was perfect. There were barely or no tourists at all. But we still have to deal with the cows, of course. And we have to pass through them to get to the cave. Cross that bridge. What did he say? Careful. But finally, we got into the cave. It was the biggest cave I've ever experienced. We in my just got whole done trekking. We came from there. That's the top. Right there. See my friend. It was so huge that we had to climb up. Really high. There is a prison right there. Time, tiny holes. Small home. And climb down. Finally, we had to jump. Jumping was the only I'm option as the kidding. water was so cold. Oh. Woo! It's like freezing here. The top of the cave was so high that I felt so free, and the cold water made me reflect about my life. life in Vietnam and how it sucks working for the government and how the government should be working for the people. But despite being so poor, he still managed to be happy, which made me think about happiness. <laughs> despite being so tired, the locals invited me to watch the soccer championships. It was Vietnam versus Malaysia. I don't know what we were drinking, but I went along with it. It was definitely good seeing Vietnam won when I was celebrating it with them. They were just so happy. Next up was Hanoi, the city of lanterns. 
was time for some warm weather again, so we ended up riding on this umbrella boat. I have never seen or rode a circle boat before, but there's always a room for a first time. Oh. We also <laughs> caught a crab along the way. Yummy. You wanna close that? Oh! 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 We <laughs> tested the boat how this can go round and round without sinking. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I like it. I like it. <laughs> it was fun, but what made this so special wasn't the boat. It was the people. This is Boo. She took us to her home and she showed us how to make a whistle made out of leaf. <laughs> made each one of us a toy fan. She even shared her story about her job as a kid, catching clams. <laughs> As I was editing this video, I felt so nostalgic. It made me think of how amazing Vietnam was. I realized it was actually the people I met along the way and the locals who shared the story. Lastly, I was able to attend the Lantern Festival. The festival felt so warm in my heart that it filled my soul. I had to buy a candle lantern to make a wish. I still remembered what I wished for, and it was only happiness. And it was the Vietnamese people that really made me realize what happiness truly is. It wasn't about the materials we possess, but the connection we made and the moments we share with other people. Despite our differences in values and culture.